Are you ready for the fastest moon we'll ever get in one of these episodes? Of course you are! Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. My name is Rabid Luigi. In the last episode, we did some stuff in the Snow Kingdom. It was very cold. We bounced around in like some, some Goron race. We also made our way to the Seaside Kingdom, which is less cold, more sandy and, and seasidey, and also has this guy on, on the middle of this sparkling water drink. Thing. He's, he's getting hit with a lot of corks. He's being sufficiently corked at the moment. It's like a fine wine. Corked is a bad word. It's not a good thing. It's having a really bad day. But what what I basically left it off at at the end of the last episode, we just needed one more and now he's a boss fight. So now he's the best boss fight. I mean, there's some good boss fights in this game and they're nice and creative and stuff, but this is... I didn't want to dive in, Mario. You ain't being too excited in your boxer shorts and having way too much fun. This is the best boss fight in the game. This is also one of the only boss fights I ever saw for this game before it came out, and uh, it's really good. It's wide and expansive and reminds me of Sunshine, and that's a beautiful- uh, wrong button. That's a beautiful thing. A bit kind of hard to do because he moves. Oh no! I'm out of- I'm out of juice. I'm out of sunshiny juice. I need to- no. Oh god. I haven't played this game in a while, so I need to press buttons. There we go. And then we do- oh, yep, yeah, that was kind of good timing. Oh no! No, not alright. That wasn't alright. I nearly got the timing down. I was gonna be perfect. It was gonna be beautiful. Can you come back this way? You're going all crazy. You should calm down a little bit. I'm just gonna land on his head. Oh, I'm gonna land on his fucking head. Okay, that's not that's not fine. It's okay. It is a. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Pikmin in a way. I, I actually said that on the day they invited me into London to play it. It's, like, it's kind of like Pikmin, not because it's anything like Pikmin but because it's a boss in an area with hazards that you've grown accustomed to over the course of playing the game without the boss fight, basically. You're having to deal with all these little things, having not had to worry about them ever, ever, ever. Okay, this is this is becoming a little tragic now. I almost want to get purple coins because that I might be good at that. I could do that nice and easy. I'm fine. I'm fine. Nice and early in the episode. This is why we do these things so you don't have to. Oh, yeah. Can't be too many of them to do. I'm sure there's only like two or three more. That's fine. Okay. Don't be- don't die. Dying is- oh, don't even think about it. This game is uh, it's not very hard, but you know, the skipping rope is- oh, do to, oh, I need to like bounce on him. I killed that guy. I killed my friend. My- oh, my one and only friend in this scenario. That's okay. Maybe there's some health in this chest over here. I doubt it. But I can always hope. Actually, okay, you know what? You know what? I misjudged the chest, and there's also a checkpoint over here. Look how shiny and glistening and moist- look how moist Mario is. I like it. Moist Mario? Yes. Yes, I- yes, I would. I didn't think I would before, but yes, I would. Uh, so, I- I can't get that high. I wanna go- wanna cut the corner. Cut the corner, and get the- Oh, I'm doing this wrong! Or maybe I just wait for him to stop like this, and then just do that, and- Actually, it's only two hits. It's actually really easy. I was- I was mistaken by thinking it might be difficult, but- He's got a very big brain, slightly too big for the circumstances. His brain exploded. We went miles. Mario is thrown around a lot in this game. I realize this now, but all oh, the sparkling water magically goes back in here. Yeah, is it? It's got to be sparkling. Sparkling water on tap is a little weird. Never really get that. I've told my story of going to Germany before, haven't I? That they had wherever I went, it was Koblenz. It was a like a valley village town place it was in between there's a river which was in between a valley and it was on that river basically lovely place really picturesque and everything but they had sparkling water on tap and that is if it was normal sparkling water that's okay you do that i kind of like sparkling water if it, it tasted weird it tasted metallic -y and strange and unusual and every time you ordered water at a restaurant you had to say that i wanted Steal water! No, don't give me the sparkling stuff, it's weird. My goodness, what a pretty sunset. And it's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. I've told that story before, but it's still traumatizing. But it doesn't seem like Bowser is in this kingdom anymore. Shall we head- shall we head to the next? Uh, we could, but unfortunately, I don't think we have enough- we don't have enough moons. God damn. What the hell were we doing last episode that we don't have enough moons to go to the next kingdom now? I mean- we don't have to worry about it too much. We can instead do another one of these, which is a, a vibration thing. Yes, oh no. This one has like red herrings, I think. Like, oh, this vibrates. Maybe. Mario's covered in sand. This one, maybe? Oh, okay, fine. I, <laughs> I think I remember doing it before, and then I'm just sort of walking in the area of where I remember there being a moon before. Not really remembering if it's for that mission or for that circumstance. I can't remember. We could go right now, 
However, there's another one of these, the Keep. As a, as a, I don't even remember. I haven't done most of these, by the way. In my in my actual playthrough, all this hint art. I'm not going to take a picture of it because I feel like I've done that once or twice or maybe three times in my main playthrough. But I uh, I probably don't want to go that way. Can I go the other way? I could probably are. Uh, I can't remember. I might be able to make that. I'm not. It's sort of sloped, which makes me th makes me think I probably can't. And it's sort of no. Okay, I'm 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 willing to give it a go. I'm sure I can do it, but maybe not today. I'll come back to that one maybe in a little bit. But uh, actually, probably from down here. There was a way through down here. I don't know. I was going to say the, the hint art is vague and and confusing sometimes, but that's okay. Can I remember what this one actually is about getting it wrong first? Was it three four? Oh yeah, baby! I didn't need to get it wrong. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm. <laughs> I mean, I realized the sort of. The stupidity of saying, oh, one, two, is three and four next. No, that's not what I'm that's not what I mean. I I remembered the pattern. What actually happens if you don't know? I know loads of people have played this game now. It's basically trial and error, except there are skeletons or mummies or weird things. You can see over there another mini-game which is gonna cause me an aneurysm, but of course we'll do it anyway. Because I have a I'm a sucker for I'm a sucker for everything. It's actually not that bad. It's volleyball. It's just very slow. This is another one, which I think has to go to 100. And I I haven't done that one either. So it's it's not very difficult. I mean, it might seem that, oh no, we're going, it's going to places I might not be able to get to by moving Mario as fast, but you can do it with his hat as well, which is very much cheating. It's so much cheating. You've, oh, that, was, that worked. Don't be too lax about it. I forget what I need to do to get the first moon, but I won't get the second moon because frankly, uh, I, <laughs> I haven't even tried the skipping rope again. I know I have to. 100% in this game is is possible. It's I've seen people do it. It's not, you know, I've seen people do it before the game came out. It's not that difficult, but my patience, my my aptitude towards difficult mini games which are going to cause you problems because you have to watch it and me problems because I have to do it. That's that's what we needed for the first one. I we still have to go for 100 though. So I I'll try this time. I don't even want to speed it up. Oh, I don't even want to speed it up because I feel like I'll be shortchanging you slightly. But I, I don't want it to take the whole episode either. There's so many things we could be doing. And it, I don't want this to be the only thing we're doing. It could be. Everybody like volleyball. I like volleyball. It very rarely comes around. I, I never often see a TV channel which is playing volleyball. But then the Olympics comes around once every four years in whatever country they decide to host the Olympics in. Where is it now? J uh, Japan in two years or three years. 2020, uh, uh, Japan. Tokyo? I don't know. Probably Tokyo. But uh, can they host Summer Olympics? I don't know. I'm hitting the scoreboard. I didn't want to hit the scoreboard. You mistake my, my actions for, for malice, malicious actions. Watch for shadow and just aim for the shadow. Mario has like a second of startup time in his animation. If I was a, a professional Smash Bros. player, not character, that's a different thing. If I was a professional Smash Bros. player, I'd say that Mario has a lot of input, not input lag, but animation lag. I don't know. Like, he takes a little, like a second to get up to speed. And he has to, I mean, is everyone entertained? You can, it's okay if you're not. You can tell me if you're not. I kind of don't care. Also, how is she able to process where this ball is going? I don't really know where this ball is going. I don't really give a fuck where this ball is going. It's like a cheap cheap. It, was this an actual fish at some point? You can tell me if it is. I mean, it's a little cruel. A little unnecessary. What's the high score for this? Do I want to check? I know the answer to that. It's going to be like 20,000. Don't you feel like a puny man? Yes, every day of my life. That's very kind of you to point it out to me. I always feel like a puny man. I'm quite a tall man, but not in, not in, only in stature, not in spirit. Oh, I mean, it's just got to stop bouncing, hasn't it? So you can, it can afford to, to bounce slightly, but not too much. I want to do this, but every part of my being is telling me we're gonna get to 92, and then that's, that's, that's your lot, guys. Unfortunately, because fuck you. That's why. All your hopes and dreams. What are these hopes and dreams, and where can I get some? I'm- I'm not- I'm, what, are, what are Millennials? I forget what Millennials are. When they were born, Generation X and Y and... Sun and Moon and stuff, I don't know. Generation Moon? Generation Ultra Moon, more like? Yeah, that game's gonna be good. Ultra Sun's gonna be terrible, that's not what I meant. I mean that, uh... I like the trailers and now there's- Oh, there we go! 
Don't call me bro. Don't call me bro. Shut up. Okay, so we're gonna get a hundred. That's my highest score, by the way. I'm not too fussed about that. What will, what will actually happen? And I'm not doing it now because I can't come that close and then just straight up go and go and do it again. What I'll do off not off screen. I don't do it off screen, but I will I will speed it up on screen and then just show you the sped up version. And maybe without commentary. I don't know if with, with or without commentary I'm better, because I feel if I say nothings like I did then for however long that minigame was, I feel like I'm better, because my brain is just... is my, my, my mouth is producing verbal diarrhea, and that is wonderful in every way, so maybe that's a good idea to do, but I also don't really want to... I, 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 if, if I keep failing it, I have an awful lot of content of me trying these really dumb mini-games and with no actual end result, and I don't want to do that, and that seems dumb. Also, the shops in this, uh, in this, uh, kingdom move around on Dory, which is cute, I guess. Can I have none of the... I could buy some, but I also don't want some. I... We don't really need to save up for anything, so I think I'll get... Where, where are we going? I, I, wouldn't, I need the pirate hat for some... At least one moon in this game, so I'll not wear it now, but I'll buy it while I'm here, because somebody wants me to be a pirate for our sexy, sexy role-playing. I'm not sure. I just, I just, I just go with it, I think. The snail NPCs. We haven't seen snails in a Mario game before. It's so weird, but... You know what? I'm down for it. I'm... I... I why wouldn't there be snails in a Mario game? We've seen everything else, including Yeti characters, in the last chapter. Why are there underwater kelp? I've never noticed the- not the underwater kelp, that's a dumb thing. Why are there upside down kelp? That's what was confusing me. They seem terrifying. They seem like some kind of horror- horror game monster who sticks to the ceiling and waits for you to come towards him uh, and then kill you. I want this moon underneath Dory. Are you both Dory? What's- who's- who's the one in the- in the, the lakeside chapter? Lakeside? The lake chapter. The lake kingdom. Did I say chapter? I may have said chapter. <laughs> this is a Paper Mario game, apparently. I want- I want your wares! Don't leave me. Are you- are you- is your name Beetle? Your name might be Beetle. Let's just do this. Because I'd like a thumbnail, and I haven't really seen one yet, and I can get a thumbnail by doing this. I think ahead like that. I'd also like the- uh, amazingly adorable sailor hat and suit, but unfortunately we need more purple coins, and I'm not willing to find them now. It's okay, we can go through this game at our own pace. Preferably, kind of quickly, but not that quickly. Like, I'm not gonna do this that quickly. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I could, I could, you know, if I was really trying, I feel like I could do this game kind of quickly, but... Also, I prefer if these- if- if this Let's Play is significantly more relaxed than my Mario and Rabbids Let's Play, which is me Ah, just bumbling around for however long those episodes are, thinking, I'm good at tactical games, aren't I, guys? Yes, uh, yes, yes, no, yes, I'm, no, okay. Might not be good at tactical games or platform games, but that's a different matter entirely. I'm not here to be good at game, I'm here to be, uh, provide entertaining and what, what, what's my, uh, what's, what's my, uh, what's my directive as a video game commentator man? Provide incisive... An enjoyable commentary about a rely- uh, re re I gotta stop ground pounding in this fucking water. On a- on a- I gotta stop doing it! Okay, I- my- the joke's gone. The joke's gone, the commentary's gone, but that's okay. What I'm trying to do, at the slowest speed ever recorded by man, is get over here and, like, do some really good jumps and also want that rocket up there, but one thing at a time. I wanna go in here. Hello. Give me a thumbnail, lady. To fully enjoy the pleasures of blub bubbling, you must wear clothes you can entirely relax in. You have achieved the perfect ensemble for rela relaxation. Please enjoy yourself within. I shall. What are we doing? Which is gonna mean that my relaxing clothes benefit me in a, in a great way. You better fucking believe what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Aloha, bitches. Yeah. I mean, I never... I get, is this a resort? I guess it is a resort, but... Oh, excuse me. I never sensed there were too many visitors, though. So, uh, th do they just live in a perpetual state of relaxation or something? I don't know. How do I get a moon off the other one? Because you gave me that moon. Is there a slightly less relaxing dance I need to do? We get a rock out or something? Heavy metal up in here. I don't think that's the case, but 
I haven't a hundred percent of this game. There could be moons hiding in places I don't even I'm not even aware of. We need a lot of seeds. When I find some seeds, I need to, I need to go over here and give give that guy a lot of seeds because oh I want to I want to do it, but we'll just do it a different way. When I give that man some seeds, I'll be able to grow some plants and do and get more moons. I, is it one moon per plant? Because that's a lot of moons for not a lot of effort other than finding seeds. I don't know, maybe that's kind of difficult. I love these levels. These levels here, I love them. Because there's a there's a worry that all of the standard Super Mario Odyssey gameplay is you just sort of exploring this large open world and thinking, hey, isn't this not very difficult? I mean, the Seaside Kingdom is very much not very difficult because it's all one open plane. There's barely any platforming to be done. You can't really fall off anywhere. You can't you can maybe drown, but only if you're trying a little bit too hard. But the uh this is like welcome to actual platforming, and when they take your hat away from some of them, have, we, have I seen, have I shown one of them off yet? I don't know. When they actually take your hat away, it's like, okay, this is, these are the secret levels from Sunshine, and that is wonderful. I need more games to do that. But a hat in time did that. They take your hat away, well, no, they didn't take your hat away, did they? They did something, like... How do they make those levels hard? I forget. We need to go over there, because there's a secret thing over there. I'll make that platform. Yeah, oh! Somehow made that platform! I'm gonna pretend I meant it to be that close. I don't really- didn't really want to do that, that's okay. Sunken treasure. Yeah. I- every single- oh, itchy nose. Every single one of these levels, or most of these levels, I can't see the platform anymore. How wonderful, how quaint, even. There? Yeah, okay, that's good. The, uh, loads of these levels have second moons in them. And I didn't really know that the first time around, so I was just, like, flying through them, like, yeah, let's fucking go, let's just fly, we're going really fast now. And I didn't really pay attention that there might be other little secrets in your surroundings, but that's just me. That's just... I missed a moon in the RC minigame a couple of episodes ago, because I looked at the... I looked at the leaderboard. I was so obsessed with the leaderboard that I just ignored a moon. It's fine. I'm not the most attentive person in the entire world, we know this by now. This is news to nobody. I'm thinking I'd just like to screw around in this level to the end of the episode, but I need to remember where some moons are. I will- Oh, there's a moon at the top of the golden dory, let's go there! I'll have you know that I got it a different way, but I think you're supposed to get it this way. I appreciate the fact there are multiple ways to get the same moon. Oh, this is gonna be tricky, but not that tricky! Oh yeah, bonjour dory! I- Do we need this guy for anything else? I'm thinking maybe not, but I feel like he's too, he's too important as he, I, he doesn't like water, he doesn't like poisonous water, which I understand, but he especially doesn't like water. Is he, is he any relation to, to Yoshi by any chance? Because sunshine is deeply canonical in some way, I don't know. I need, there's a moon around here somewhere, like just, just underwater randomly, or is that maybe in the post game only? I don't know, stop spraying me. I'd like, I'd like to at least make a good, good fist of this area, and then maybe start the next area in the next episode. I have some time to record some episodes today, so I might as well get a lot done, if not everything done. I think, I think there's one, hang on, I'll just get the coins, get the coins and the slightly floaty, floaty, gra floaty graphics, that's what I meant to say. The floaty control, there's a seed, oh, I need the seed, let's go back for the seed. Seeds on the other side of the world, as, as helpful as that is, can I? Can I have this and you guys not causing me any problems? I need this seed, I know where to plant it. I need, I'm going this way, there's some purple coins in that, in that rock face side of the mount, I don't know. Guys, go away. I can, I can swim with this, but I have to avoid water jets with it as well. It's not quite the most buoyant thing in the world. Why can't it be like Mario, just ge general, general Mario where, uh, you can get a shell and it'll make you swim faster. It's not quite, not really like that. I guess they float. Well, they might not float. The seeds don't actually float. Most seeds don't because they have... They don't have a lot of air in them. They're jam-packed with all the things that a, a budding tree needs. Budding? Yeah, it's kind of a joke. Is that a joke? That might be a joke. It's the lowest hanging joke, but I don't know. There is a moon somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it is, but... There's a moon everywhere. Like here? Is there a moon here? No, there's... No, there's... No, there's Goombas. I thought they, they got rid of my seed. They nearly took my seed. Without my permission! I'm not having that. I, I, I'm just trying to, like, I want to do some moons, but I can't remember where any of them are. Oh god. I'm not doing the hundred- I'm not doing the hundred volleyball. Because I'd rather kill a man, and, you know, I don't really want to kill a man. I feel like that would 
not be a good display for a video that might violate YouTube's terms of service and would definitely... Can you come down? Okay. It would definitely uh, make this video not very advertiser friendly if I killed a man on screen, uh, an actual human being. You need to water it, do you? Oh, I'll just do this thing. Or you could wait for it to grow normally, but fuck that! At least in another kingdom- oh, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm a- I'm a- I'm a, I'm a gooey squid monster, but I have no water. It's kind of awkward. The orc really slow waddle back to the water. Put me back in the put me back in the ocean. I need I need this. Okay, and then I because I, I would presume that you get one moon per plant, maybe. That's a lot of moons. Oh, I need oh oh the seed is the seed is forming the seed is forming. Let's not maybe not go that high. Just like spray it periodically. There you go. Have some water. I want the seed. The seed gives me nice stuff. I'm st oh. Can I do this now? Or I'm gonna wait for it to grow properly. I don't know. Just give me the, give me the juicy thing. Give me the moon. Give me the moon. Maybe. Running out of water here. I, I'm thinking we can't do this now. I think we have to wait. Uh, I think we have to like reset the area or something to get that to work. I don't know. I'm gonna look elsewhere for moons. Have I actually showed off Toad giving me a hint on how to find moons? I might as well do it now. I don't even know where that is, but I'm going there. It's somewhere over here, like kind of here. We're watching, looking for a spot in the ground, a shiny, shiny spot. Or is it just- is it in the fucking- is it in the fucking shop? Is it the thing I can buy from the shop? Because I'm gonna be really angry if Toad gave me that. Don't you dare, Toad. You saucy motherfucker. I- I swear to god. Don't even do it. Don't even do- don't even do me like that. I paid 150 coins for this moon! I'm not gonna like that, am I? I mean, it all counts. As part of like, 100% or something. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, it's not? Why was it on top of the- have we reset the shop's position or something? I'm very confused. Is it down here? It must be down here. That's what it's telling me. I'm very- I mean, I'm really happy that it wasn't the shop. But now I'm just confused why it was on top of the shop and isn't now. I don't know. Help me out here, cheap cheeps. It's gonna be down there. That's okay. That- that- that gives me parity in my life. Why are you- why are you bouncing around a lot? Like, yeah, attack him with the pro controller. I should use the Joy-Cons at some point in this Let's Play, just because they're honestly not bad for this game. I, they're, they're really good for arms. They're okay. Mm, they're not brilliant for Splatoon, but they're okay for uh, Breath of the Wild. They're they're pretty good in this game. Like they do their job. You have motion controls over your hat. You can hold your hat in certain ways and get your hat to sp like fly around corners and shit. So maybe it's worth doing at some point, but not right now. I mean, all this kelp hanging off the ceiling is like slightly terrifying especially if you didn't know they had eyes and then they suddenly turn around and follow you what the fuck i'm about to die but like the fact they follow you is amazingly terrifying like what the hell i love them oh i never saw this before the the giant hole in the ground and also this which i imagine opens the giant hole in the ground and probably gives me some kind of hatless challenge somebody in a comment section somewhere this isn't actually- well, this is kind of a hatless challenge, but somebody said that there is a hatless challenge coming up. I don't know if they mean, like, short-term or long- Oh my god! I'm not sure if they mean short-term or long-term. There is a hatless challenge coming up, which is kind of difficult! This is not it, but it has its other qualities as well. Difficulty not being one of them! Fear factor being one of them. Like, are they programmed to come out at certain spots, or are they just coming out in front of me periodically? I don't- I wish I knew. But I don't think I want to know, because, uh, I mean, that's the suspense, that there's just, they're just randomly in front of me. This is, this is better. If this was the first time you saw them, and it wasn't like doing the underwater passage or something to get up to the lighthouse, okay. This would be so much better. It's just, it's just wrong. It's so wrong, but wonderful at the same time. Where's the last one? Is it going to be in a bobble? They're not that hard to find. Is it behind anything which is of value to me? I don't know. Oh, it's up there. That's fine. That's easy. I like that, but... Oh, goddamn, the eels! The eels are wonderful creatures. Why did you give them such an upgrade, Nintendo? You could have made it lovely and cartoony, but you made them not hyper-realistic. They look nothing like actual eels, but you gave them really sharp teeth, and I know you gave them sharp teeth in Super Mario 64, but this is, this is a long time after that game where graphics have become a little bit better. 
And teeth have become sharper, apparently. I don't know. Mario can maybe hold his breath for longer. The, the being in the water... I never really liked that in Super Mario 64, that you could, uh, like, take... I need my hat back. Can I have my hat back? Can I just have it back? Hello? <laughs> I realized I didn't have it. Do I have to actually go over to you and say, Hey, motherfucker, can I have my hat back? There you go. Why do I have to ask for it? I don't know. But, um, I never liked the feature in Super Mario 64 that if you took damage, you could hop in water. Okay, I'm very bad at the dive all of a sudden. Do the fucking dive! I can't do it. I- okay, I've lost it. Maybe I can't do it in water, or maybe I have some clinical problem or something, but the fact that you could take damage and- oh my god, oh my god, he's lost it. What's- what is he doing? Do the dive! Okay, there you- I'm- I'm a tragedy of a human being. I am a tragedy of a- okay. No, it's, it's fine. Everything's- everything's severely wrong, but there's nothing up there. There's one down there. Okay. I was- I was saying that the- the- the mechanic in Super Mario 64, that you could take damage and then hop in water. I needed that man. I needed that Goomba. Maybe not that Goomba, but I need some Goombas. Uh, the mechanic that in Super Mario 64, you could hop in water and then immediately have all of your damage healed because the your damage meter kind of worked a little bit. I need another Goomba. I need at least like two more. There you go. Two Goombas. Let's go. Uh, the damage meter worked the same as your air meter. So you would, uh, if you dove down the deep depths of an ocean or something, and then came back up, you would, uh, get all your air back, and also all your health back, because they're one and the same. Holding your breath for a long time decreases your health and your likelihood of surviving difficult challenges, like going against this ridiculous chip obstacle course of, of giant spiky boulders. Kind of, no, I'm kind of decent at it, I don't know. I think we need at least five. At least five, okay. <laughs> Without pushing it too far. I'm very tall, lady. Yeah, five is good. Five is enough for her. That's fine by me. I think we'll leave it there for moons. Because uh, I'm not going to say I'm running out of ideas, but I kind of need to come back here at a time when I'm not... I'm not preoccupied, but... I'm not thinking that I just have to fill this episode of moons. i got to sort of... There is a way of, of going through these kingdoms and getting lots of moons. I'm, I'm still working on that one, but... Uh, you know, doesn't really matter. We got a, a resort outfit, which I'm immediately going to discard from my boxer shorts in the next episode. But you know, it's all part of the all part of the system, all part of the capitalist system that we subscribe to uh, relentlessly. Ten more. I have more than ten. What episode are we on? When did I say we get 120 moons? We have flown past that by a decent enough margin for me to feel happy about myself. But yeah, we are not a million miles away from the end of this game, but. Not from the end of the Let's Play, but a long way! Not by a- it's gonna be- it's gonna take a little while longer than the- what- what the- what main missions the game throws at me. It's gonna be a little bit different. Anyway, where are we going next? We're off to the Luncheon Kingdom! Bowser can't run forever, but he can eat forever. This has been Rabbit Luigi, this has been Let's Play Mario Odyssey! In the next episode, we're gonna go to the Luncheon Kingdom. It's a food place and also a lava place. It's a bit confusing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one! Take care!